Having now chosen my data, I am going to take a look at the actual design of this application. And what I mean is, well, see here, my data set, yep. And then I was gonna use the names and probably the years, that's what I would put there. And then I was gonna use filter because I was gonna have them search for a name. Keep in mind with screens, when what I'm talking about design-wise is three screens, right? So I'm talking about that, user interface. And I wanna make sure that there's no dead ends. And that's why just like at Google and every uh, large programming company on earth, when you wanna make an app, you need to draw out a paper, paper prototype like they have here. So my suggestions for design would certainly be a start page, easy enough, a page for data, and then another page to show output or results. Let me go ahead and go back to my, I have this somewhat laid out already. I'm gonna go ahead though and create a new screen to show you, and I'll call this start. Start screen. And again, it's much easier to have your app planned out. Start scene screen. Wow. All right, here we are. Our start screen or my start screen. And I'm going to make mine fairly basic, right? Maybe a button that says start or start BTN. Start. Depending on what your app is, you might have a more appropriate term for this. I'll probably put a title on my search screen. Title, so. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to call this app title, and then I'll say movies by year. I don't know. Maybe I'm not the most creative, but I think you get the general idea of this. Whoop, and whoop, something like that. All right, that looks good to me. And then an image, drop. And you can always upload an image, right? Or use a link. I'm just gonna use some of the items that they already have because I know that's exactly what I want. They have a film reel and border color, icon color, hmm. Ooh, that's really, okay. Maybe something like that, I don't know. Maybe I should do more than one, so. I'll just call this title image, and actually I'll just stick with one for me. Giant film reel thing, which kind of looks weird, so I'm gonna change. Oh, there we go, movie. Ooh, a ticket? Now nah, just do that. Movie by year, okay, great. So this is my start screen. I have everything labeled well, so I know I can use that for the on event. And keep in mind, those items I just chose, let me get down here, build and prepare, output name, label, displays the dog name. So I would put uh, whatever name out, output, I think I put what title label or type app title, I think. And what is that? Okay, app title, that is a label. And then what does it do? It displays the name of my app. So, we're doing this, right? The elements ID, what else did I do? I did a um, start button and I think I named mine start BTN. So that's what goes there. The type it is, well, that was a button, right? Don't overthink these. And then what does that do? They're just asking for the IDs that you are using. Variables are going to be more useful once we get the design done. Okay, that's screen one. Now my screen two, I had already set up, but I'm actually gonna start from scratch real quick just to show you how I did this. And um, I'll add a second screen. And I'll call this uh, input screen, maybe. Because maybe I'll split it up. And there's several ways to do this. You could have the user input data on the same screen that their data is going to be pushed out to, right? And so maybe you have two pages, but I'll have an input page and I think an output page. So to do that, I have input screen and maybe I want to be fancy and have a different background color. Probably not, but you know, whatever. Boom. All right. And on this page, I'll be, I'll say, uh, I'll just hmm, page title and I'll say enter info gathering. I don't know. Whatever you want to title your page. 
since I'm asking the user a question, I'm tidying my info gathering. You could just put the title of the app actually here as well. It doesn't super matter. And then how do you want to do this? So depending on the type of information you're collecting, you might want to use a drop down menu. You might want to be using a text input. I'm going to say uh, year label your question. question. Okay. And then I'm going to write what year would you like to find movies from? Not exactly elegant, but I think you understand here. Okay. And maybe I'll something like this, and I'll probably increase the font size a bit. Change up the background some because it's ugly. It's a good reason. And then you want what other input you want. You can use a drop down. Now, since there are so many years, I probably wouldn't want to use a drop down for this. So I'm just going to do a standard text input. And I'll say like year input. Okay. And once I have this, I'll go ahead and have a button that says submit. Submit BTN, right? And with that done, let me have an, it says submit. I like this theme. I guess I could use a different one. Now nah, I'm going to stick with it. And maybe I'll have an image, right? You just, so it doesn't look like garbage. <laughs> uh, and I'll do one of those. I like the ticket. Yeah. Perfect. Just organize this a bit. So this is the page that the user can get to and they can put in a year here and then they'll hit submit. And so now I have two screens, but the requirement is three. And what I'm planning on doing is doing a result screen. You could certainly have results display here. And maybe you have a third screen that says um, enter another year or a third screen that says random facts. It's totally up to you, right? But now I'm going to go ahead and make that third screen, new screen. And mine's going to be called result screen. All right. And then... Now I'll leave the color and then result uh, title maybe. And then results, boom, explanation point. Here we are. And so my goal is to, well, output any of the movies that were that year. So I'm going to say uh, result label. I'll say the following movie was released that year. And if you want to be really fancy, you could certainly do more than one movie, right? I could list out a bunch. And I will show you how the options for doing stuff like that in a later video. But just to show you kind of ideas for the page outline. All right. The following movie was released that year. And then I would use, I could use a label, I could use a text area, and I could list one, two, three, four, however many movies I, I would like to output, or however many movies my application finds. And then text color, do I get to choose the text color? Yes, it's white, that will show up nicely. Maybe I'll do something like this, and then I'll say results output, okay? Or results output area, sure. And then I want another button because no dead screens. And this will say um, home button because I'm going back home. Home. Okay. And finally, I want to add an image just so this doesn't look bland. And sure, I guess I'll use the film script here. Boom. And now I have my three pages that I can use my on event buttons to navigate through. All set up. So make sure you have three and you want them to look, you know, a nice aesthetic look and there's no dead ends. Great.